How can you block your neighbor's Wi-Fi? As you know, we can name our Wi-Fi anything we want to. Most of us use normal names, but what do you do when your neighbor is obnoxious, racist, or just crude with their Wi-Fi name? I don't want to see that, and I certainly don't want my kids to see that. So today I'm going to show you how you can block your neighbor's Wi-Fi with a couple of basic, simple commands that anybody can do. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Leron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. Right, so there are two ways that you can go about blocking your neighbor's Wi-Fi. You can either block their Wi-Fi name and put it on a blacklist, which essentially means that their name will simply not appear. This is a good method if you just have one or two stupid names that you want to block. Method number two is that you can create an approved whitelist. Essentially what that means is that only your approved Wi-Fi names will show up, everything else will be blocked. This is a good method if there are lots of Wi-Fi networks around and you just don't want to see them. I'm going to show you both methods as well as the way to undo all of this in case you kind of got it wrong and you made a mistake. Okay, let's start off with method number one. So let's check the network and the Wi-Fi's that are around me and there is the obnoxious one. Obviously that's one that I've created. This is not one that's going to get me demonetized. <laughs> What you're gonna do is type in command, right click, type in run as administrator. And there we go, that's the command prompt. Obnoxious is still there. And this is where the first command gets entered. Now don't worry, these commands are in the description so you don't have to worry about remembering and watching everything that's on the screen. Just simply go copy and paste them from the description below. What you will need to change is where it says name. Now delete what it's got there and I'm gonna type in the Wi-Fi I wanna hide. That is called obnoxious. Now remember it is case sensitive as well. So you gotta make sure that you spell it correctly and exactly as the Wi-Fi name is. Now that I've done that, all I do is I press enter and a filter was added. Let's see if that Wi-Fi is gone. Ta-da, it has just disappeared. Easy, straightforward, to the point. That's how you get rid of those obnoxious names. Now, let's see all the filters that I've actually added onto the network. So, you just use this command. And again, this will be in the description. And you can see at the bottom, under the block list, there is the obnoxious name, and that has now been hidden. Let's just say I made a mistake, and I want to go, whoopsie, that's not the one I want to hide, I want to bring it back. No problem. All we're going to do is we're going to go type this command in, and again, it's in the description, and essentially deleting that filter type in the Wi-Fi name that you want to bring back. And when you press enter, it will remove it from your block list. So let's just double check it. So I'm going to type in a CLS just to clear the screen. Let's go look at the command that shows me all my filters. And you can see the block list is now says none. If I look at my Wi-Fi names, well, that should be right there. <laughs> Right, that was method number one, but method number two is called whitelisting. So essentially, I've got so many networks, I don't want to add them on one by one, I just want to keep the two that I connect to. No problem. Again, this command is also in the description. All you're going to do is you're going to go and add a filter that says, okay, this is the first one I want to be able to connect to. So let me just make sure I'm spelling it right. Remember again, it is case sensitive. So there we go. So this is the first network I want to connect to. I have actually two networks I want to keep connecting to. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second one after I've done the first one. Let's just double check I've spelled that right. Okay. And that's all looks good. And I'm going to add this filter. So once I've done those, those are the two filters, but there is now a third command. And that third command is again also in the description and that is the command that blocks all the other networks from appearing except for those two let's double check that that worked go into my wi-fi settings and everything else it's just gone now in go back to your command prompt and now what we're going to do is we're going to run the command that shows me all the filters i've currently got set up on my network and here you can clearly see under the allow list, those are the two that are there. There's nothing under the block list, just the two that I want to connect to. Now, let's just say I made a mistake and I want to undo all of this. No problem. There is a command for that as well. 
gate in the description it's right there those are the two that i'm currently connecting to let's undo all of this run this command and when we do all the networks should be brought straight back and there they are remember it's critical to have this command especially if it's on a laptop and you're traveling you're not going to be able to see all the wi-fi's that are not in your whitelist critical critical to remember that so regardless which method you use this only blocks the name from appearing it obviously doesn't block the actual wi-fi signal from entering your house and interfering with your wi-fi if you're having those kind of Wi-Fi issues, well, I've made a whole video about how to select the right channel. It also will be linked in the description below and you can check it out. If you need more Wi-Fi tips and tricks, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in these videos. Let's go.